Good day everyone! Welcome back to Map A YouTube channel. Kung hindi ka pa nakakapag-subscribe sa channel na ito, please click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for more updates. Our lesson for today is about conditional statements or if-then statements. A conditional statement is also called as if-then statements. It is composed of two parts. The first part is the if statement o yung tinatawag nating hypothesis. The second part is the then statement o yung tinatawag naman nating conclusion. Example, given here the conditional statement, if you study your lesson, then, you will get a passing score in your examination. Ang ating hypothesis ay, you study your lesson. At ang conclusion naman ay, you will get a passing score in your examination. Para mas lalo nating maintindihan, let us answer this activity. Change the statement into if, then, or conditional statements. Identify the hypothesis and conclusion. Number one. Ang ating statement ay, Eat fruits and vegetables every day and you will be healthy. So kapag ito ay ginawa natin, if then statement or conditional statement, this will be our answer. If you eat fruits and vegetables every day, then you will be healthy. So, identify natin ang hypothesis. So, our hypothesis is, you eat fruits and vegetables every day. At ang conclusion naman ay, you will be healthy. For our second example, right angle measures exactly 90 degrees. So, kung ito ay gagawin natin if then statement or conditional statement, this will be our answer. If an angle is right, then it measures exactly 90 degrees. So, our hypothesis is an angle is right. And our conclusion is it measures exactly 90 degrees. Third example. An even number is divisible by 2. So, kung ito ay gagawing conditional statement, our answer will be, if the number is even, then it is divisible by 2. Para sa ating hypothesis, the number is even. And for our conclusion, it is divisible by 2. For our fourth example, perpendicular lines form four right angles. So, kung ito ay magiging conditional statement, our statement will be, if the lines are perpendicular, then it formed four right angles. Ang ating hypothesis ay, the lines are perpendicular. And for our conclusion, it formed four right angles. A conditional statement can be true or false. Conditional statement can be true when a hypothesis is true and the conclusion is also true. At ito naman ay false if we can give a counterexample wherein the hypothesis is true but the conclusion is false. Let us answer this activity. Determine if the conditional statement is true. If not, give a counterexample. Okay, para sa number 1, ito yung ating conditional statement. If the figure has three sides, then it is a triangle. So para sa ating sagot, this is a true conditional statement. 
So, lahat ng figure na may three sides ay tinatawag natin triangle. Number two, if the number is prime, then it has more than two factors. So, for our answer, this conditional statement is false. So, prime number has only two factors. So, ang factors ng prime number ay 1 and itself. For example, 3 is a prime number. So, the factors of 3 are 3 and 1. Wala nang ibang number aside from those two numbers na magiging factor ng 3. Third example, if you live in Batangas, then you are in Region 4A. So, for our answer, this is true. So, ang Batangas ay located sa Region 4A. Number 4, if x squared is equal to 16, then x is equal to 4. For our answer, this is false. So, x is also equal to negative 4. So, kapag kinuha natin yung value ng ating x, it can be positive 4 or negative 4. Venn diagram can be used to illustrate conditional statements. So, magbigay tayo ng halimbawa. Para sa ating first conditional statement, if you live in Batangas, then you are in Region 4A. So, ito yung ating magiging Venn diagram. As you can see, ang Region 4A ay nasa malaking circle. At sa malaking circle na ito, makikita natin ang isa pang mas maliit na circle kung saan nakapaloob ang salitang Batangas. Since sa Region 4A, matatagpuan natin ang Batangas, kaya ito ang ating Venn Diagram. Para sa ating ikalawang example, if the polygon has three sides, then it is a triangle. So ito naman ang ating Venn Diagram. So sa malaking circle, nandoon ang word na triangle. At sa malaking circle, nakapaloob ang isa pang maliit na circle kung saan makikita ang words na polygon with three sides. So, sa Venn diagram, the things that satisfies the hypothesis must be inside the things that satisfies the conclusion. And that ends our lesson for today. Thank you for watching. I'm Teacher Grace. See you again next time. Bye!